Does the BC assessment value actually represent what your home is worth in today's market? So in today's video, I'm going to explain exactly what the difference is between the BC assessment value and your home's true market value, and talk a little bit about what goes into determining each of those numbers. Hey guys, it's Van DeMarco. For those of you that are new here, thank you so much for joining my channel. I'm a local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. And in today's video, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about the BC assessment value and how that value compares to your home's true market value. So starting with BC assessment. So at the beginning of each year, usually the first week of January, property owners throughout the province get a notice of assessment it gives them an assessed value for their property for the upcoming year. So BC Assessment has property appraisers that collect and analyze data for properties throughout all of British Columbia. And what they do is they look at recent sales data as of July 1st of every year to determine what the value will be for that property for the upcoming year. So the market information they collect is used to lock in the assessment values for the new year and six months later, those are mailed out to property owners at the beginning of the new year. And these new assessment values are actually a way for the province to determine your property taxes for the upcoming year. So this is the interesting part. Property assessments are actually based on what was happening in the market prior to July 1st of the previous year. So in this case, values that were mailed to you earlier this month were actually locked in July 1st of 2020, so six months ago. As we all know, a lot can happen in six months, especially in the real estate industry during a pandemic. So these property values are not necessarily a true reflection of what your home might be worth today if you were to sell. And it's for this reason that property assessment values from BC Assessment shouldn't be used solely to determine what your property might be worth if you were to sell. So this brings us to market value. So what your home is actually worth in today's market. So usually market value is determined by what the seller is willing to accept for a home and what the buyer is willing to pay for that same home at any given point in the market. So market value can not only change fairly quickly, but can also change between neighborhoods and style of home within the same time period. So this is where having the help of your realtor is invaluable because they have their finger on the pulse and they're in the market every day. So they know what properties are selling, what aren't, um, and what neighborhoods are moving more quickly than others. So in order to determine market value on your property, what your realtor is going to do is called a comparative market analysis. And first, what they'll do is use tools like the MLS to go in and compare properties that have recently sold that are similar to your property. So in terms of number of bathrooms, bedrooms, square footage, age of the building, uh, as well as condition. So next what your agent will do is do a visual inspection of your home. So they'll do a walkthrough. It's not going to be as detailed as a property inspection would be, so don't think that they're going to be inspecting the foundation and crawling under things. It's basically just to get an idea of the condition of your home and to see any renovations that you've done and kind of make a comparison between the condition of your home to those other comparables that have recently sold. So then what they'll do is make the necessary adjustments based on how the condition of your property compares to the other ones that have recently sold. And they'll use their professional judgment and experience to recommend a value that you could list your property at or market value. All right, guys, that's it for today. Wanted to keep it short. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below if you got value out of this. I'd really appreciate it. So if you recently got your BC assessment value and you're wondering how it compares to what your home might actually be worth today, uh, reach out to me, let me know, and I can send you a quick CMA. Uh, you can either email me, my contact info is below, or leave a comment and I'll get back to you right away. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.